You see the stupid tar. You see the stupid tar, man. No, it's time to get into it. In this video, we'll be using cringe as both an adjective and a noun. As there's no other way to describe the stuff I'm about to show you, it's unbelievable that some of these people would even post such nonsense on the internet. Some of this just being goofy lightheartedness that I'll just crack jokes at, and some of this being actual serious cringe. Ugh, this is gonna be a long video, bro. Speakers. <sighs> I clicked the wrong video, bro. This <laughs> is cringe, cringe. What's the only thing scarier than having one personality? Gee, I don't know, having a mangina? Oh, wow, bro, that's so quirky and edgy. What the fuck? Huh? Uh, no, uh, go blow your nose, bro. Why did he not do a take two? Why did he just sneeze and like watch that back? I was like, yeah, you know what? That's that Sigma alpha male look I'm trying to look for in the video is that nasty ass snot coming out the nose. Holy shit guys, it's actually kind of uncanny how much this woman resembles the actual Overwatch diva. If I told you that these were two <laughs> separate entities, would you believe me or would you think that these are the same person? I thought I made the biggest poly pocket until I showed it to my husband. Holy shit, I was not prepared. <sighs> 2024, they say we must accept everybody for who they are, man. This goof is not making, is not finna make it out the hood. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Oh, let me not put it like this. Yeah, he's not finna have a good experience in my village, and let me put it like that. For that, that's a mental flashbang. I don't even know where to give this guy any tips at. I mean, abomination. What is that? Like, were you like, what are you trying to go for the RuneScape monk hair? Is your husband unemployed by any chance? Because the only place I know that would hire him. Bro, how does he? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I be asking myself too, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah, they be saying, bro. Our parents be on our ass about our hairstyles, this and that, getting like one tattoo or like piercing, y'all piercing your ears, just piercing your ears, like just for me. And then there's people like this, I'm like, bro, how the fuck are they able to make money? I'm not gonna lie, they probably doing other activities we don't know about, bro. I don't know how they're getting a job, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how they're getting a job. Is Spencer's and the fucking Draenor. Like, this is effed up, stereotypical, or whatever. Not all of them can be tattoo artists, bro. Not all of them can be doing the same job of being a tattoo artist. Because the only, the only thing I can think of is, like, tattoo artists, uh, they do corn. Uh, it's either they're traders or, like, they own businesses. So, yeah, that's... Oh, well, they own businesses. Hmm. That could be a reason. Manor. Maybe Frankenstein's castle's looking for employment? I don't know, man. This is... This is nuts. This guy came straight from a coffin. Attention movie lovers. If you see my popcorn flying in the air, please don't be startled. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't funny. Okay, but what would be funny is imagine if they were like... Attention movie lovers. If you see my popcorn... Yo, shut the fuck up. Yo, shut the fuck up, nigga. Like... Fuck up. Where's your hair turn? Because it makes me look more badass. So why have your nails turned white? Why does your hair turn white? Because it makes me look more badass. So why have your nails turned white? <sighs> we need to bring crucify. <laughs> okay, let me stop, bro. Why? What, bro? Why crucify, him, bro? I could have thought about something else. Like we need to bring bullying back. I could have just said they're not crucified. Like they don't, they don't, they don't deserve death, bro. What is an <laughs> issue that you think our generation should care more about? Uh, access to abortion. Yeah, uh, bod bodily autonomy. I think you're living proof that people shouldn't have bodily autonomy <sighs> because you're fat and you chose to be fat, and you chose to dye your hair this ridiculous color, and you can't dress. Or maybe you can dress, but since you're fat and ugly, it looks like you can't. The worst thing you can do, bro, is be fat and not know how to like pick the right clothes for you. Now you got all this public indecency out, man. Can't dress. 
I don't know, man. The girl looks at you, walk up to her and say, hey, do you always stare down charming, dangerous men? Dude, huh? don't take this as a compliment, but you look like you were animated by the people that made Total Drama Island. Why are y'all voting for Kamala Harris? I don't want to lose my rights. Like, I'm a trans man and I'm gay and I have been pregnant and I've had an abortion before and I don't want to lose that. If you played that audio to somebody 40 years ago, <laughs> just the audio, the diabolical this must be blasphemy nah this is a joke you, you're joking right huh? yo bro all hell will break loose Sh my you would make them violent i mean appearance aside Big if you're dog. watching this video while playing minecraft and you're just listening in i'll describe what she looks like to me uh she looks like a band teacher going through a midlife crisis. Also, a trans man that's been pregnant and is gay. Sorry, sweetheart, that's called being straight with extra steps. Mm. I'm afraid of not being able to be myself anymore because from what I've heard, Trump's America doesn't want me to look like this. Look like what? Like huh? a fucking Percy Jackson shirt with, honestly, like the glass, like what, what, to look like what? If, if you told me you were trans, I wouldn't even believe you. I would just think you're a woman that has terrible fashion choice. I'm very, you know, alternative. Alternative, and I feel like if Trump were to win, I wouldn't be able to, like, express myself through my looks and everything. I wouldn't be able to have the piercings or the dyed hair or the tattoos that I want, and, you know. I oh my god, that that's so heartwarming. I, I, I remember when Trump specifically said he was going to ban hair dye piercings and tattoos. Shut your goofy ass up, man. No offense, but it's 2025. I'm pretty sure we have way bigger issues in the world that the president is more focused on than fucking hair dye, tattoos, and piercings. Is that water? Yeah, natural spring water. Laced with CBD, yes or no? No. What has happened in her past for her to ask if her if the water has been laced with <sighs> CBD or not? And even if- I'm not gonna lie, bro. The build she got- like, bro, it, what's the point of, like, her talking about, like, is it laced to CBD, whatever, the BBC, whatever she talking about, bro. Her build, like, it's like, my nigga, you got this build. I think you should, you, I think that build shows you that you don't really care about your health or whatever. It man. was. It's oh, just man. CBD. She's acting like they put Fent in the water. <laughs> All right, I'm not necessarily believing you or disbelieving you, but thank you for your professional courtesy. Like, I'm going to take free water, obviously. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She works in the HR department. I You can guaranteed tell off her word <laughs> choice. She works in the HR department. Man, this the reason why I be like, man, this thing of getting a job is some bullshit, man. Imagine this being your manager. I already know she be making niggas days ass, bro. Imagine this being the last face you see before losing your job. Yeah. Do you think We're water should be free? Obviously. Damn, bitch, back up. Back I can up. smell your stink ass. Hot breath ass breath through the computer screen. You know it stinks. You know it's grippy. Ah. I mean, you know it's stinky. There's no I love cosplaying like, yes, let me just turn into a... A curvy little angel and just run around in convention center for hours in a corset and he... Yeah, the English is beating my ass. The corset heels are too tight. No place like I want to be a witch. I love <laughs> cosplaying sometimes. Like, yes, let me turn into a little angel and run around a convention center for hours in a corset and heels that are too tight. Run around for hours? For hours. Not for seconds? Yeah, you lying about that one. Oh, we know she's running for seconds, but... Uh, not the kind of seconds we're talking about. She's running to the seconds. And after the seconds, she might even grab her plate and run for thirds or fourths. I'm just doing a quick school project, and I love the outfit. Uh, I have no desire to engage any kind of romance. I don't like branded shirts. It just happened to be green, which I like. So I feel like I am not your target audience. Oh, you know, this guy goes absolutely stupid on League of Legends. <sighs> he looks like you could argue with them for days on who the strongest JoJo character is. Where would you take your girl on the first date? My house? Question mark. I have no intentions of romance. I don't have any like cool places to go. So I'd be like, okay, well, the easiest place to go to is my own home? Question mark. I don't know. Oh, he a player for real, for real. He already bringing her to the house on the first date. Hey. But if he says question mark out loud one more time, I'm gonna have to punch him in the stomach. What are your pronouns? Um, I usually just let people call me whatever they want. Why does everybody ask me if I'm Latina? Isn't it obvious? 
Yo, what what is what do they call this one? Catfishing. Well, yeah, I think that on the body fishing. Oh my goodness, she's not a torta. She's a double stuffed burrito with <laughs> a torta. The side of catfish. Hey, honestly, not me, but I know some guys that would that would be into this. <sighs> hey man, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna be faking. I hit after she takes a bath. I hit after she takes a bath. She smells good. Hopefully she takes her she take care of her. She take care of us. I can't even speak. She take care of herself. For me, in terms of hygiene and all that. Hey. But like, uh, uh, like, you know, like a, like a one night stand. That's it. If you more like a, if I'm trying to, for me, lift the weights, <laughs> then I can hit her up. If you mean like, you know, like part time, uh, intercourse uh part-time intercourse buddies yeah i got I, I, I can rock with it she not chop it's just that the body but hey my skinny ass need to lift some weights though so hey extra workout this would actually be like their dream come true okay not dream come true and me saying this i'm saying this because of lust it's not i'm, I'm not attracted to it. coffee spelled backwards is e -fuck, which is funny because until I've had my coffee, I don't give e fuck about anything. <laughs> no, that was lame. No. You should kill your- How did you know you were a furry? Honestly, I was in high school. I saw people wearing it. I thought it was cool. That's also probably around the same time I realized I was retarded. Okay, well- Oh, oh, okay, big dog. He, he had to do it. He didn't have to do himself like that. <laughs> Nobody said about you being retarded. At least he's self-aware. <laughs> You know the oh, bro, these are the worst type of people, bro. Instead of just keeping things on the internet, they bring it into real life. <sighs> I think I saw this clip somewhere. Bedside, <sighs> right? Yeah. What's your opinion on your shifts? Oh, How do we get here again? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna get This is that dude from the office, right? The autistic guy from the office, Dwight or whatever? <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. He got that shit on though! He got that shit on though! You're a Taurus. Yes. And astrology is very important to you. Mm hmm Did you know that what you consider your zodiac sign might not be your actual zodiac sign? I did. Would you be shocked to hear that you're an Aries? No. I'm not a Aries. Believe it or not, nothing in your life has changed. I can promise you that. The art on the side, though, I it, it's kind of nice. I, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was focused on the art, too, boy. That motherfucker looks nice. I, I like here. that. I appreciate the art. Here's the three reasons I hate being a werewolf. And don't even comment about my fang because I know it hasn't grown in yet. <laughs> I'm going to cut the bullshit because uh, well, there's no point in watching the entire video. <sighs> bro, I thought, uh, bro, I be out here seeing, bro, I'm a goofy ass dude, bro. And then the, there's these type of guys, man. It's like. Fucking it, man. Some niggas were just like, bro, the wrong niggas were given life. <laughs> But we can. <laughs> it's all jokes, man. We can agree that this seems like it's geared towards children, right? After we finish playing outside, we can come back inside. And since I'm pretty hairy, I guess we could snuggle up and fall asleep together. <laughs> Just me and you. Am I the only one who thinks it's a little bit weird to say and a little bit creepy to say on a video that's kind of has children as the target audience? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, but hey, you know, I. That just seemed kind of weird. I'm going to stop you right there. Um, 
I have absolutely no interest in talking about my weight or discussing weight loss today in this consultation. I came here to talk about my shortness of breath. Um, I would like you to uh, take a thorough history, examine me. The reason why you got a shortness of breath or whatever the fuck you call it is because you're fat ass, man. Good like and help me figure out. So after a further investigation, we have found out that your shortness of breath is due to being fat. Your uh, your your body and damn this man hairline chopped, bro. What is this, bro? Just cut this shit off. Your diet is not helping your cardiovascular system, uh, and it's causing your your breath to be short. Give me fucking touch. I didn't touch you, I man. Just break. I think the icing on the cake is the Overwatch Diva backpack. There needs to be a study between <laughs> schizophrenic women and playing Overwatch. I'm so sorry. Hey, me personally, bro. Hey, man. It, it's just, I'm just looking out for myself, for me. I'm not trying to be in no situations like this. If you got mental problems or like you're not mentally stable, whatever, the, whatever, for me, I'm not the right person to be around because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And at the same time, another thing. If you're an emotional person, bro, and you don't know how to control your emotions, I'm not going to lie, bro. Do not see me as a friend like a help because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. It's better if, like, I'm not going to lie, bro. It's better if, like, uh, yeah, it's better if you tell niggas how it is. Like, hey, bro, you trying to be my friend? I'm going to tell you this. If you don't know how to control your emotions, bro, I don't know how, how the fuck I'm going to help you. Because I cannot relate. I don't know what to do. I've been living a good life where, bro. Uh, I've been living a good life where uh, I haven't encountered uh, anyone close to me breaking down this and that. Hey, bro, I'm just telling, I'm just like, give you a warning that, uh, for me, don't have me on your like speed dial, speed dial or emergency numbers because I don't know what the fuck I'm finna do. So it's better if you like prioritize or like uh, think of someone else to be your like uh, that friend you will need in that time. But if you need help in, in certain aspects, then yeah, I'm, I'm here, bit dog. Other than that, I don't know, man. I feel as if like we should just be uh, online friends. If I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. Because I cannot be, bro, me personally, but I cannot be walking in the streets for me. And then and you break down next to me. I'm like, bro, come on. Bro. Why you got to do this to me? What the fuck did I do to deserve this? Ugh. Damn. I'm with this goofball is breaking down, bro. Fuck. <laughs> she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. I didn't see you. To make it. So let me get this straight. You got raped by a man, wow. making you hypersensitive to men around you, but then you cut a man in line, grabbed his stuff, and threw it, and then screamed at him. If you are so traumatized, how does that happen? Bro, this is not a thing. Up, bro. Like, fuck, now, yeah, man. Bro, this YouTube shit gotta work out because me personally, bro, I cannot be working in no customer service type of jobs. And that's the only way, that's the only job I could get because I don't want to go to college or whatever. Shit like this, bro. Certain instances, niggas get smacked for literally trying to de escalate the situation. So, yeah, and it's a, I think over here, I think it's a crime to hit a disabled person. Even if you didn't hit that person in like intentionally. Yeah, bro, I cannot do this. And like, how do you how do you not see the man? I mean, it's fucking Walmart. Like, I've never. If anybody's been to the Walmart self checkout line, you kind of have to scout which which one's open or not. You can't just cut in the like. Come on, dude. I'm not buying it. Funny side effects of ADHD. ADHD people do not make random sounds. Unless we're in an uncomfortable situation. Bro. This is literally a grown ass man, bro. Ugh. No, let them have fun. Let them have fun, bro. This could be someone's pillar of strength. My nigga, if the goofball is acting like this, it's like, bro, it's better if he was doing this. Like, for me, like, he playing with kids. Oh, oh, okay. That one did not sound okay. You know what I'm trying to say, bro. But other than that, come on. There's like a limit on, like, how you. How much you could be goofy or still act young, man? I ain't gonna lie, bro. And then he, niggas gonna get mad when other people look at them weird, like, bro. Why are you getting mad? You the one that brought this upon yourself. You out here in public acting weird. Look at this. Imagine he did this shit in public. I'm glad he doing this in the, in his in his home, whatever. 
Il faut mieux. It, it's an attention disorder. You, you have trouble focusing. Annoying motherfuckers would do everything in their power to not take responsibility for being annoying. Drink cold water with the mintiest mint. Some regular Unk. show I drink! Unk, don't do it, Unk. No. Mm -mm. Unk, no. <laughs> Please, Unk, you don't <laughs> have to do this. Ice water time. Why are you doing it in the car, bro? Like, you got all that spit on your car? Come on, man. Why you smell like shit in that bitch? Yeah, that nigga died. Yep, on latest news, TikToker died from consuming whatever, different acids and cold water. Uh, that shit was so cold, he started going super saiyan, bro. This is every member of BTS. Okay. Kim Nanjun, Kim Suk Jin, Min Yoongi, Okay. <laughs> female cops when it comes to memorizing every single BTS member versus female cops when it comes to memorizing the law. Female cops when it comes to memorizing every single BTS member versus female cops when it comes to if she's grabbing her taser or her firearm. Anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, you are now ready for the ultimate cringe, my Instagram account. Go ahead and follow right now. I don't got an Instagram account, but... Leave a like on both of us, you feel me? Give us likes. Subscribing's up to you. I'm gone, bro. I feel like killing. I almost said I feel like kick. I can't say that on YouTube. Bro, I can't even, can't even joke about it. Nah. Call me Mr. Zang, cause I'm a flitty bass.